Hello everyone! I'm back with Jenny LeClue, Detective O, and uh, I just checked my recordings, and so far the sound seems okay. Um, the game sound might be a little low. Um, you know, if if it is a little low for you, just tell me. Maybe I'll fiddle with OBS's settings a bit. Testing, testing. Everything is working okay. And out, uh, last time we were about to pursue the murderer, and I'm sure the murderer is outside like, Are you going to chase me? Well, yes I am, but I'm trying to make sure everything's okay here. So, go do something else for a second, huh? Okay, uh, how's this going? Okay. I think that's good. Okay, after the murderer! Um. Wait, what? Oh, here we go. Climb curtain. I think. Here we go. Jenny could hear police sirens in the distance. Who called the cops? Literally, who called the cops? Someone must have tipped them off. I'll catch the murderer and keep him busy until the cops arrive. Chasing after murderers was hardly the job of a little girl. But it is the job of a protagonist. Hey, you! In many Stop. cases. Uh-oh. Ooh! Ow! Oh. Despite surviving her fall without so much as a broken bone. Thank you, protagonist powers. Jenny couldn't help but feel she had failed. As the sirens grew louder, she knew it would only be a matter of time before the sheriff arrived. And then she'd have to explain why she hadn't called for help. Well, she was trying to figure out what was going on, and then she saw somebody escaping. But the worst feeling of all was that she had let the killer escape. As she drifted slowly into unconsciousness, Jenny heard a familiar voice. Oh, Concerned, gentle, soothing. Jenny? Julie? Oh, Jenny, what have you done? Mom? Freeze! You're under arrest. It be achievement unlocked. It begins. An achievement you can't see pop up for some bizarre, bizarre reason. Oh, that was loud. <gasps> oh, Arthur, what have you done? You're supposed to killed him. You're supposed to write about murder, not. Uh, the blood! Oh. <laughs> oh. Some people binge ice cream. This is all wrong. Others binge jam. Murder in Arthurton? I like the way the pupils, you know, the way they move like that. <gasps> this is not an appropriate story for Jenny LeClue. Neither is searching for a missing marmalade sandwich. Poor Dean Strousberry. Even Nancy Drew deals with murder occasionally. At least as far as the video games are concerned, as far as I know. Um, I'm not really- I don't really know as much about the books, but I imagine that some of them at least must deal- At least one of the books must have dealt with murder. There are a lot of books. A lot of series. What was I thinking? And Jenny LeClue is... Have I mentioned this before? Jenny LeClue is clearly uh, inspired by Nancy Drew. Have I talked about this? I do not know. I do not remember. For later, then. I've gone too far. Perhaps I should take a break. Come on, Rufus. Let's go for a walk. Clear our heads and work off some of this jam. Hmm. Woof! 
Dog does not want to go for walks. Ah. Let's take a look at his desk now. Guess I can't zoom in. Let's see? Okay, there's that. Ah. ah! I didn't mean to. Ah! Oh no! I didn't mean to do that! No! No, 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 no! Oh, dang it! Hold up. Ugh. Scene selection. Okay, note to self, do not mess with the inkwell. What have I done? <sighs> Thank goodness there is a scene selection feature. Thank goodness for that. And there are multiple sa there are three different save I slots. That's him. nice too. Um Arthur this is all wrong. Murder in Arthurton? This is not an appropriate story for Jenny LeClue. Poor Dean Strousbury. What was I thinking? I've gone too far. Perhaps I should take a break. Come on, Rufus. Let's go for a walk. Clear our heads and work off some of this jam. Maybe you should clean up a little first? I mean, look at you. You're covered in splotches of jam. Somebody might get the wrong impression. You know, it looks like it's nighttime outside. It's storming. If somebody sees you outside in that state, they might think you're actually covered in blood. Woof. Okay, let's examine his desk without moving on yet, shall we? Oi. Her body ached, her eyes were heavy, as she drifted slowly into unconsciousness, Jenny heard a familiar voice. Ah. Okay. Remember, jam jar, jam jars, six, pipe cleaners, brandy, dog biscuits. Well, you won't remember any any uh, you won't remember it anymore. CSI class. Jenny dead, but not really. On her head. Genius. Truly genius. Away, sticky notes. Too dark. Library, 4 p.m. Back back plot. Back plot Dean fixes watch. Map. Where did CJ? Where did CJ go? Map. Ring stuck in track. Why was Julie there? Ring equal important. Is it spoilers if we're reading the? Oh, I suppose it might still be spoilers if we're reading the author's notes. Dean Strausberry. Do I get an achievement for making all the sticky notes go away? Ooh, last. Letter to <laughs> Right, that was what we saw before. Okay. Forgive me for taking the time to explore, but I like exploring. 
Okay, is that everything now? And come on, guys. You can't tell me you wouldn't want to do this, too. Explore the desk and see what you can play with and see and all that. Okay, we are at... Chapter 4. Or maybe that was the end of Chapter 4, and now we're moving on to Chapter 5. I'm not sure. No, wait. No, that should be the beginning of Chapter 4, because the heading Chapter 4 is above it, right? Yeah. Okay, let's move on to whatever this was. The black ink spreads over the words, Oh no, I'll have to write that all over again! Actually, yeah, actually he will. Ooh, that is actually very rude. We're very rude. I'm sorry, Arthur, I didn't really mean to do that, but it's the only way to transition the game. It's the only way to move the... whatever. Well, this is weird. Are you done exploring now? Can I move on? Thank you. Oh? Arthurton... It almost... Wow, that I in the M... That almost looked like tombs. Murder! Dean Strausberry found dead. Prime suspect Julie LeClue arrested. Oh, wow. The rest of the article is completely illegible gibberish. Wow. In fact, even the even the subheading right there, that that's kind of hard to read. Ah! Uh-oh. But at least there are no new petitions against tax. Or building. Uh, um. The plot demanded it. Truth. I told you I was looking for mom. Why? We were going to great papers. When do I get to see her? Did you disturb the crime scene? Only enough to establish... Th well, not exactly. Uh... Of course not. Now let me speak to my mom. <laughs> and you're freaky! Oh. Oh, I can move out of this. Crawling, crawling, crawling. Hey, where are you going? I knew I shouldn't have put a hole that size in the wall. Eh. Where is this? What is this? Oh, now I can run. Slow. <gasps> Almost there. Almost. Almost. <gasps> oh no. <gasps> Where did you go? Poor boy. Now he has no one. It was no accident. I can't believe she's here. He's all alone. Murderer. It was revenge. Guilty. She's guilty. She wanted his job. An affair gone wrong. Were they lovers? You can see in her eyes. Guilty. Pure evil. Murderer. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. 
caskets within caskets? Oh no. What the? What am I? What the? What am I looking at? Grab! You get over here! Oh, I see what this is. I forgot. Running, running, run now! Look at that thing! Ah, this is a nightmare. Ah. Ah. <gasps> okay. What a horrible nightmare! Okay, I think that might have been a ten on the creepy meter. Or at least an eight. Team Strasbury was dead. My mom was in jail. Keith told me he never wanted to see me again. And worst of all, I was surrounded by an evil army of giant teddy bears. Wait, what? That wasn't in your dream. Where did that come from? <laughs> Unfortunately, it was all true. Including the teddy bears. But some of them seem to be pigs. So they're not teddy bears. My eyes! There's something wrong with them! Everything's pink! And purple. Purple too. But her eyes were fine. It was the room that was pink. Pink cuddly toys. Pink furniture. And with some dark blue. And purples. Pink clothes. And pink sunlight, apparently. And a hand-drawn homage to teenage heartthrob Pelvis Cressley. Oh! <laughs> Covered in pink hearts. Really, game? Really? Joey Johnny Davy? What? Everything a teenage girl could dream of. It looks like a marshmallow exploded. <laughs> it was at this point Jenny remembered where she was. You mind telling us? I shouldn't be here. What happened? And what is that terrible music? I can't think straight with that racket playing. Wasn't that music playing earlier in the game? These aren't my clothes. Okay. And where's my journal? That wasn't the only thing missing. The Dean's ring. It was in my pocket. Uh-oh. Okay, let's start exploring. Oh, let's stop the terrible music first. You're the fan that I love. You're the fan that I love. Eh, pelvis Cressley and the hip thrusters Ugh. sell more records Ugh. 
Ah yes, the eagerly awaited follow-up to the smash hit. Even though I'm a big star and you're just a fan, perhaps someday we could be together. Uh, pardon me for a minute, sorry. And I'm back. Is everything... Hello? I think you need to work on that title. It's a little long. Ugh, who buys this crap? Somebody. Huh? Huh? Sound. Hushed whispers in the hallway? I should investigate. Climb. Okay, is everything good? Sorry. Just making sure. Okay, I think everything's fine. Got to double check every now and then. You never know when I'll have sound problems. Right. Okay. Good. Open door. It's locked from the outside. That's not encouraging. Who would trap a child in this nightmarish hellscape? Jenny peeped through the tiny keyhole. As her eyes adjusted to the light, she recognized the substantial frame of Winston the Clue. The sheriff? Arthurton's long-standing sheriff and Jenny's. Granddad! So, her mom was arrested by her granddad. He arrested his daughter-in-law, I assume. Yeah, I think... Yeah, yeah, that should... She should have been his daughter-in-law. Ooh. I don't think you're getting a Granddad of the Year award for this, sir. Winston LeClue, stickler for rules... Distrusts humor. Jenny's relationship with her grandfather was contentious, to say the least. Distrusts humor. Weakness for tiny kittens. Yeah, I can see why it would be contentious. He was a stern and humorless man who placed honor, tradition, and the law above all else. Apparently also uh, readily believes that his daughter-in-law would commit murder. Sometimes even family. Not that she should... You know, lie or cover up things. Blah. Yeah. But what was he doing here? Whatever. We'll get to know him more. I don't really know him all that much. And who is he talking to? Florence Glatz! Influence influential Florence socialite. And Glatz were the wealthiest couple in town, and hugely <clears throat> influential. Influential socialite, generous philanthropist. Suspiciously white teeth. Oh, these are the glats. Glatzes. Glats? Glatzes? Grammar. Their company, Glatz Mining and Supply Corps, was the oldest in Arthurton. Hmm. TM. While Richard may have been the head of the business, everyone knew that Florence wore the pants. <laughs> Exceptionally charming and generous, she always had a smile on her face. What's that saying? Behind every great man, there's a woman rolling her eyes? Which is why I don't trust her one bit. Being careful not to make a sound, Jenny leaned in and listened. With everything going on, I don't have time to watch her. It's no trouble at all, really, Winston. She can stay for as long as she likes. The girls are great friends. 
I only hope she feels better soon. That was quite the scene she made at the funeral. What? She should have left the boy alone. What? Really, Winston. This whole situation must be unbearably traumatic for the poor girl. Her mother in jail, and what she saw in the library. One shudders at the thought. And all this barely a year after what happened to Henry. She'll be fine. Just keep an eye on her. She can be a real handful. Oh, don't worry. I've planned everything. Pony rides, afternoon tea, and tomorrow we're going dress shopping. Your accent went southern there for a second. Oh, that reminds me. I have something for you. And a little bit there again. Dress shopping. First they lock me up, now they want to torture me? <laughs> <laughs> I need to get out of here. Fast. But her curiosity was piqued. She had to know what Mrs. Glatz had gone to fetch, and so she waited. Time to look for clues through the keyhole. When Thaladius T. Pumberbitten discovered the first quartz seam lining the Great Mountains. Thaladius T. How do you come up with these names, Arthur? Little did he know the impact it would have on the future of the town. Little did he know the Glatz family would muscle in and take over the whole operation. Hmm. Nowadays it was hard to go anywhere in town without seeing something made from it. duty of sheriff had been Winston's birthright. What? Passed from father to son for generations. I don't think that's usually how sheriff works. Aren't sheriffs usually elected to office? Of course that tradition would now end with him. But he preferred not to think about that. Yeah, let's make sure that... Okay, that's obviously a clue, but let's see if there's anything else. I don't know. Being thorough. Nope. Okay, so what... Are, that looks like the same outline. Nathaniel Glatt stared disapprovingly back at Jenny. <laughs> we think. I mean, there's no face on there. Creepy old man. Actually, this was the man who saved Arthurton. Oh? When the quartz mines began to run dry... It was his research into the unique properties of the crystals that secured the future prosperity of the town and the company. How so? How s- huh? Where did he go? Da! Ah! Don't do that! Winston, what are you doing down there? Hmm, thought I heard something. Really? A man of your age spying on teenage girls? Please don't put it like that. I've told you already. She won't be going anywhere. That sounded far more menacing than it really needed to. It was probably just Jenny's imagination, but those words felt oddly... Sinister. Here. Why does Mrs. Glatz have official police documents? Case file 113SL? Confidential? What? Satisfied. Satisfied? How is Julie? She's in the safest place, behind bars. The safest place? Surely they don't believe she's guilty. I don't envy you, Winston. It must be hard to stay impartial. I would think this would be a conflict of interest. Mm. If the poor dear would just confess, it would make things much easier. I have everything under control. Of course you do, dear. No one doubts your loyalty to Arthurton. We must continue to look out for each other, now more than ever. 
That sounds a bit sinister too. Jeff, are you receiving? Go ahead. It's the Leclue house, sir. We found something. I'll be right there. Over. It sounds like you've got important things to take care of. Yes. Well, good night, Florence. Good night, Winston. Don't let her out of your sight. She is a Leclue, after all. I'm sure we'll manage. Jenny couldn't believe what she'd just heard. Everyone thinks my mom's a murderer. Thankfully, her mother's fate was in safe hands. The fine people of the Arthurton Police Department. Ah, uh, Arthur, we need to have a talk again about your sense of disconnect. Oh, God. She's gonna rot in jail. Pretty much. Jenny could leave the case to them and enjoy a fun week of pony rides and shopping sprees. Okay, Arthur, now you're just not understanding your character's personality at all. We really need to have a talk with you about this. No. No? No! Have you been paying attention to your own characterization? Mom always says a great detective leaves nothing to chance. I have to do something. But she was just a kid. What could she possibly do? So... In the actual book that he's writing, is the narrator having an argument with the main character? That's what I'm wondering right now. That'd be funny. This is my chance. The case of a lifetime. My mom needs me, and I won't let her down. Yeah! I'm gonna find my stuff and get out of here. Yeah! And just like that, a great adventure began. Yeah! Adventure! Examine pig. I love you. I love you. You are my best friend. You scared the life out of me, pig. Okay, um, it's been about thirty. Oh, I have to take off a little bit. Thirty. About 34 minutes, so let's take off a little bit for the break and editing, but I think that's about enough for now, so I'm going to stop the video and then I'm going to start recording again because I haven't hit a save point and I want to keep playing. So this has been Emerald Lupin playing Jenny LeClue, Detective O. Remember, like, comment, subscribe, share with on social media, all that stuff, and you can also check out some of my other videos and playlists. I'll see you guys next time with more Jenny LeClue, Detective O. Bye.